This is Virgin's Bower, Clematis virginiana, our native Clematis. As you can see, it's a beautiful flower, a vine that can stretch up to 20 feet, and as you can also tell, very popular pollinators. You can see a bunch of bumblebees and so forth visiting this one. Um, it's a great, great, great plant that can grow, and again, you can treat it to go over an arbor. The more sunlight it gets, the nicer the blooms. Uh, the blooms, again, are quite profuse. Uh, late summer, a little earlier than the invasive, uh, than the invasive uh, autumn clematis, one that's been planted and has escaped. And uh, again, has several different names. Virgin Spower, Virginia clematis being the most common ones. Sometimes it's called devil's darning needle simply because uh, the seed, once they, these are pollinated, the flower heads look like little needle shaped type of things, little puffs. Um, easy to tell from the non-native one in that this has uh, divided leaves, the leaves are toothed, uh, whereas in on the invasive one, the, which can grow and just cover everything, the leaves are actually entire, they don't have these little uh, notches and so forth on them. So an easy way to tell them apart. Uh, a great plant for, for garden settings and so forth. As you can see, uh, as I mentioned, quite popular with, uh, with all sorts of different kinds of pollinators and a great plant to just kind of plant, especially in moist areas. Uh, one that you can train to go up, as you can see here, up and over this arbor. Uh, and as long as you get some sunlight and has some moisture, it's very much carefree. Uh, there are, it does support other kinds of insects life besides just pollinators, flies, and bees, and especially wasps, even tiny little solitary bees. Uh, for example, uh, there are at least six species of caterpillars which feed on this. Here's a wasp feeding on it right now. So again, a great, great, and how about the hair streak? A little butterfly right here. As you can tell, what a great pollinator plant. What a beautiful, beautiful plant. The native clematis, the virgin's bower, clematis, Virginiana, easily identified because of the toothed leaves rather than the entire smooth leaves that the invasive ones would have. A great plant to kind of keep your eye on and enjoy wherever you can find it. Unfortunately, even though it's still sold in the nursery trade, it is nowhere near as common uh, as the invasive one. The invasive one, of course, creeps and grows all over and reproduces like crazy, whereas in this one, despite it being such a great thing for the pollinators, is much slower to grow and definitely does not grow rampant and just take over areas like the invasive does. What a beautiful, beautiful plant. Try to get you a little close up of the flowers here. Frankly, I think that even in bud, it's a beautiful plant. Here you can see several of the buds are about to open, little tiny circles, but once it does open, again, is just stands out everywhere it goes and of course the pollinators absolutely die for this plant virgins bower clematis virginia